Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider a numerical wherein the uh, x of n is given. It is a four-point sequence, uh, which is one comma zero comma one comma zero. The task is to find its DFT x of k and uh, to find y of n if x of y of k is equal to x of k minus two. So uh, basically, this numerical has got uh, two parts. First is I need to find its DFT x of k. Next is uh, b. That is I have to make use of uh, what is this x of k minus two? It is nothing but I have to make use of frequency shift property. So if I know that, I can uh, find the answer for uh, this numerical. Is that okay? So first, let me begin with uh, part a. So first, I'll write a to find x of k. As x of n is a four-point sequence, x of k will also have four different samples because the uh, the range is going to be same for x of n and for x of k. So how do I find x of k? To find x of k, I have got the formula which says that x of k is equal to summation n equal to zero to n minus one x of n w n to the power k into n. So this is the formula. So how do I uh, make use of that formula now? So I'll just change the limits summation n equal to zero to I'll put the value for n n equal to four four minus one is three summation n equal to zero to three x of n w n so here it is four to the power k into n so next I'll expand this summation by placing the values of n equal to zero to three so let's see that first put n equal to zero I would get x of zero W4 to the power uh, 0 plus x of 1, I'll put n equal to 1 now, W4 to the power k into 1, that is k. Plus, now I'll put uh, the value of n equal to 2 now, I'll get x of 2, W4 to the power k into n, n is 2, so I'll get 2k. Is it okay? Plus, I'll put n equal to 3, I would get x of 3 w4 to the power 3 into k as n equal to 3. So now if, uh, just put the values for uh, x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 as it is given in the numerical. x of 0 is 1 so I'm going to get 1 into w4 to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is always 1 so hence I would get 1. Fine. So next x of 1. x of 1 is 0. So this value is 0 hence I'm going to get this part as 0. I'll not write that. Uh, I'll just leave it plus x of 2 x of 2 is 1 into w4 to the power 2k so that remains as it is plus x of 3 into w4 to the power 3k and we know that x of 3 is also 0 hence i don't get any term so that is what ultimately i get x of k is equal to 1 plus w4 to the power 2k that is the expression for x of k so now if i have to put the value for k as 0 1 2 3 so that i'll get uh, four different uh, frequency samples is that okay so that is the procedure so next what i do is uh, for k equal to 0 i would get x of 0 so what is the answer for that put k equal to 0 this is 1 plus here i'll get w4 to the power 0 i already said anything to the power 0 is always 1 so hence i would get 1 plus 1 which turns out to be 2 is that is that fine it's straightforward so next what i do is i'll put k equal to 1 let's see what i get if i put k equal to 1 i'm going to get x of 1 which is equal to 1 plus w4 to the power 2 so what is the answer for w4 to the power 2? For this I must know the twiddle factors which we already discussed. So I'll just write the answers uh, those results here. w4 to the power 0 is 1 and uh, w4 to the power 1 which is minus j w4 to the power 2 which is equal to minus 1 and lastly w4 to the power 3 which is equal to plus j. So knowing these result, I can write the answer. So what is w4 to the power 2 now, which is a minus 1. So what do I get? It is 1 minus 1 turns out to be 0. Is that fine? So next, for k equal to 2, moving on further, 
I would get x of 2. So what must be x of 2 now? So put the values. This is 1 plus w4 to the power, uh, that is 2 into 2, I'm going to get 4. So what is the answer? So if I look, I don't have uh, w4 to the power uh, 4. So here I have to make use of uh, the periodicity property of twiddle factor. So whatever the terms, they fall here. 0, 1, 2, 3. So next terms are equal to this one. w4 to the power 4, w4 to the power 5, w4 to the power 6, and lastly w4 to the power 7. So these are same. So what I am finding now, w4 to the power 4, where is that? Here it is, w4 to the power 4 is nothing but w4 to the power 0, which is equal to 1. So what do I get ultimately? I would get 1 plus 1, which turns out to be 2. I hope the things are clear. So next, moving on further, I will put k equal to 3, so that I would get x of 3. What must be x of 3? Which is equal to 1 plus w4 to the power 3 into 2 which turns out to be 6 but I don't know what is 6 uh, just looking at this table here w4 to the power 6 is equal to w4 to the power 2 which is equal to minus 1 so I would ultimately get 1 minus 1 which again turns out to be 0 so ultimately I'll just sum up everything and I would write x of k is equal to which turns out to be 2 comma 0 comma 2 comma 0 this is what I get for x of k. Is that okay? So that is the first uh, task which we found uh, x of k. So now what is the second task? So I'll consider the second task now which says that uh, I'll just go up and check what is the second task. Uh, to find y of n. If y of k is equal to x of k minus 2. So how do I find that? How do I find that? So let me write that again. To find y of n. If y of k is equal to x of k minus 2. How do I find this? For this I have to make use of, I said already said, I have to make use of frequency shift property. So just uh, try to arrange, uh, try to make the things clear here. How do I check is that frequency shift or frequency uh, or uh, circular time shift? How do I differentiate between them? So circular time shift is the one wherein the shift is with respect to the given signal. It will be in terms of x of n minus m. That looks in that way. And frequency shift, it is with capital X. So it, it looks in this way. Is that okay? So this is circular frequency shift and this is circular time shift. So time shifted signal is x of n. Frequency shifted signal is x of k. So I have to consider these things. Is that okay? So that is how I find, uh, I'll uh, make uh, use of the property. So now I understood that uh, I have to make use of circular frequency shift property which says that, I'll write, we know that dft of wn to the power minus l into n. So it is wn to the power minus l into n x of n equal to what? It turns out to be x of k minus l. Is that okay? So this is how I have the result. So now what this is, y of n is equal to, as per uh, the rule, wn to the power minus ln x of n dft of such a signal. What is that? It is y of k, which is equal to x of k minus l. I hope things are clear. So next what I have to do is, I have to find the y of n. So what is y of n? y of n is equal to this thing. So they have uh, said this is equal to this. So find what is y of n equal to. Therefore, y of n is equal to wn to the power minus l into n x of n. So what is L that I need to consider that I need to find. So just compare the terms. What what must be L? So L must be equal to two. Straightforward. Is that okay? So here it is. W n to the power minus L n. Uh, in our case, y of n is equal to W n to the power. I don't know. 
just compare I got that to be x of k minus 2 so k minus 2 means L must be 2 is that okay so hence I'll get w n to the power minus 2 n x of n so this is very important getting it so I got the expression for y of n now so now I can find the different samples different sequences for y of n by placing n equal to 0 to 3 so first I'll put n equal to 0 so that I would get y of 0 equal to what do we get it is w n to the power 0 x of 0 w n to the power 0 is always 1 x of 0 in the given numerical that is also 1 so 1 into 1 that turns out to be 1 is that okay so next uh, moving on further I'll put n equal to 1 so that I would find y of 1 so what do I get now so it is uh, w n to the power uh, n is uh, been replaced with 1 it is w 4 to the power so n is uh, 4 as it is 4 point dft w 4 to the power minus 2 is that okay because I put n equal to 1 hence I would get uh, uh, minus 2 into 1 which is w 4 to the power minus 2 here I would put n equal to 1 x of 1 so what is the answer for this so I need not have to worry about this w 4 to the power minus 2 because x of n is x of 1 is 0 as it is given so it is this is the value x of 1 is 0 so whatever I get here I don't bother so I will put w4 to the power minus 2 into 0 which turns out to be 0 I hope I'm clear now so moving on further I will put n equal to 2 so that I would get y of 2 which turns out to be w4 to the power by placing n equal to 2 what do I get it is uh, minus 4 2 into 2 it is 4 x of 2 what is the answer for this w4 to the power minus 4 what is that equal to I have to make use of the periodicity property which says that 0 1 2 3 the next samples can be written below these things w4 to the power uh, minus 4 is nothing but w4 to the power minus 0 which turns out to be 1 into x of 2 is also 1 so that I would get 1 as the answer and lastly I'll put n equal to 3 so that I would get y of 3 which turns out to be w4 to the power uh, minus 2 into 3 it is minus 6 x of 3 so I will not bother for this because x of 3 is already 0 so I'll write w4 to the power minus 6 into 0 which turns out to be 0 that's it so this is how I get the value for y of n so finally I'll just sum it up I'll write therefore y of n is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0. This is what y of n is equal to. So in this numerical, uh, we have encountered a numerical uh, uh, which which uh, wherein we found DFT of that sequence and we also find DFT of uh, circularly frequency shifted uh, signal. So we have uh, considered uh, two things here, finding x of k and uh, finding uh, circularly uh, frequency shifted uh, signal is that okay so if there are any doubts please let me know them in the comment section i will definitely answer them and meanwhile don't uh, uh, forget to subscribe to the channel ng classes for more videos on digital signal processing thanks for watching